Now, so you're saying that your book is maybe part history lesson and, you know, part education. What what can we find in your book that would enlighten us on Yonkers history? Well, what I'm doing is I'm not stuck on the old school. I'm not caught up in the time work. What I'm doing is I'm connecting the past, the present, to the now. And the business savvy and the forward-thinking individuals be able to see the future. I repeat, I'm connecting the past, present, to the now. A lot of people don't know about the past. And they say, oh, it's just about now. It's about now. But the past plays a part in now. The people that, like, a lot of people complain about the old, the new school stuff, about the quality of the music. But a lot of these new school people, this younger generation, haven't been exposed to powerful elements of the hip-hop culture. That's the key. The old school had a lot of powerful elements that corporate America and uneducated hip-hop practitioners missed out on. So that's what I'm doing. I'm meshing the past, present, and the future.